Welcome all traders. Jeff Killian here for the Vector Traders Consortium. Analyzing the price actions compared to the indicator formations on Dow E-mini futures for the near contract month 321, that's YM, and CM321. A lot of resistance coming in, upside resistance here at the session uh, open area, and then again, the new session high created just above the high of 219. We believe that that's it for now, and we're looking to go short this market and make some money once we get through the, um, the preferred level here at the um, well, the previous session's close. So we're just about there. The probe is complete, and uh, we want to take advantage of that opportunity. A lot of program trading right here at this juncture. A lot of people on our end traded long just above the previous session's close. Okay, but that was difficult because you're trading up into program trading for the down move. So if in fact the market is tapped out in real time at this juncture, there is a definite um, opportunity to make some serious money to the downside. SMI is at the, uh, that's the Stochastics Momentum Index, is at the upper region of the subgraph. And we're just about there. We'll go seven contracts for the short. This is going to go. We adjust the preferred entry right here. Back in. 15s are mixed to go clear, uh, to be clear for the short. Fives are clear. Strong negative divergences before the setup. Um, still in play. Raw numbers are way off. Now down, selling off sharply. And we're just about there. Here. Just about there. Just about enough information to take this short. Let's see what happens at this critical previous session. Sessions close in yellow at 31.509 major support level. We need a lot of volume to get through that and power through it and follow through. But we feel that we're just about there. Just about there. Our proprietary VTC uh, VMA is into the ground. Clear to go short. Time is now 10.14 a.m. On March 2nd, 2021, that's 1014 Eastern Standard Time. Let's clear this up just a little bit so we can see it better. My target to the downside here at the open of 214 on the up close of 31,482. And below that, all the way down to 31,456. Yeah. A lot of people were in traders. A lot of traders were in people just below 31509. And now they've all gotten out of their short trades because the market has moved back up to the session open. Uh, as you can see, we haven't cut the tape at all. This is not the case on the sun. We did not have all the in the moment indicators confirming to trade this short or not. So essentially, we have just stayed out of a bad trade. And this is exactly what we want to do because the key to longevity in trading as a professional is risk mitigation. Anybody who's been around for at least five years will tell you that. It is not all the home run trades that a lot of guys smoking mirrors are, are putting on the internet. It's real life trading. Real life, real live trading every single day. So when the anticipated trade doesn't move in the direction, then you need to consider getting out of a trade. Or in this case, we never got into the trade. Let's readjust the preferred entry a few ticks below this area right here so we can get that low taken out that came in from the bar at 1014. 
a.m. The low price was 31,494. Now prices can hold out around the session's open and more volume comes in to the downside. There is a possibility that this trade can follow through and you can make money here. But right now that's not the case yet. We have a lot of strong volume that came in on this bar here and here. So we have a POC at this juncture, point of control where the largest amount of contracts are traded at that particular intersection of price and time. So basically drilling up into a lot of upside resistance, people. I'm going to let this go as a, I feel an excellent example of how to stay out of a bad trade where other traders got burnt, right? right below that previous session's close. Let's do that today and let's leave it on a positive note. Again, it is not always all the winning trades you'll see on the internet or anywhere, any place, any time. We need to analyze trades that don't go so we can learn from that so that we stay away from bad trades, trades that just don't measure up. This is Jeff Killian for the VTC. The time is now 10, 17 a.m., 3-2, 2021. We'll see you on the next rec. Thank you for joining us today.